Hi, I'm Steve with Green Shed Conversions, and we're testing out this new BMS. Uh, this is called the Smart BMS with Bluetooth. This is its little Bluetooth here, and this is its board. On the board, we've got a, uh, a battery negative and a battery uh, and a charge, or what they call P. Uh, and a battery positive plus all these wires here that go right across this one has a wire for the most negative and then going on up positive at a time so there's our most negative and then we're positive right on up till we get to the top this is a, a 14 cell model we also have two wires going to the board one from the most negative and one from the most positive this has got a whole bunch of transistors here, so it can handle some pretty heavy amperage. Uh, the, uh, the big improvement with this over most, I think, is that we can we can uh, access the uh, battery information from our telephone uh, now there is a you got to download a translator program but there's what the the main screen looks like and some neat features one it shows if I'm moving around it actually works like a speedometer Uh, which is kind of neat. I haven't explored all the features on this phone on this uh, BMS yet So if it was for a bicycle or something you got a speedometer you also have uh, Something that shows your voltage range of your batteries uh, Miles that you've gone total mileage and it keeps track of average speed uh, but that's not all the features. My phone is a little... Oh. There we go. Now the... Oh. Okay, so I can look at battery state and that shows how much current right now we got a light bulb that we're draining out. And... Uh, number of cells average voltage yada 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 and here is the uh, the individual cell voltages uh, which this pack has been I've been using this on the lawnmower here but I also use it on a few other things so it really ha it hasn't been balanced uh, and the, it has a balancing function on here which uh, kicks in once you get past a certain uh, voltage here on your charge. And the, and the other thing with all this is that we can set all this stuff. Parameter settings. So right now I got my overcharge there at... 4.2 discharge current 40 amps this would be fine for a bicycle uh, for balance turn on okay so it's it's uh, it starts balancing it balance precision okay so we can change all that too I don't know what open and close means. Static balance and charge balance. I'm going to have it on static.
So as you see, when we go back there, it says balance. Because all these guys are pretty close, I don't see anything going on. I did see uh, it start to show a balance before. So there we have uh, the new Bluetooth uh, BMS. Uh, this, I think you can get up to 15 cells and uh, going the other way, I'm not sure how many. I think they could probably set it up for as little as four cells for you. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice device. So I'm going to turn off my light bulb and I'm going to turn on my battery charger and I'm going to put the charge up to about Oh, maybe eight amps. Ah, and as you see right now, we're already getting some balance action going on. Uh, what I'm going to... Uh, okay, so now we go back to our other information. Fresh. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so now on our major dashboard, we see that we're charging at uh, 6.84 amps. What I'm thinking of doing, because that is balancing well, I'm thinking of turning that down quite a bit. I'll turn that down to 0.75 and see if that helps with balancing this pack that's and as we see right there I imagine that it's going around and draining the high guys just a little bit so that that one low guy up top can catch up All right, so what what are we doing with cars now when we got this system that these systems that only seem to go up to maybe 20 cells, 22 cells. Uh, and for a car where we're using higher amperage, what I've done, this one here is still being tested too. We, uh, I have a uh, relay set up here with a, with a little power supply also so I can uh, power and trick this into thinking that it's being charged or discharged and this is my circuit that I use for this These are, hold on a second. This is kind of what our boards look like. And as you see, this is, it's got a P, an N, and a B minus. The, the P is controlled by these transistors, which is controlled by this board here, to either let you charge or discharge. And uh, so to, to trick this into switching a relay, what I've done is I've come up with this little circuit here. And let me explain it. We got our key switch here, which is going to turn this relay on or off. When the key switch is on, we'll be in the driving mode. When it's off, we'll be in the charging mode. Now I have a little 12-volt uh, power supply, which feeds this, which uh, feeds the electricity uh, through the coil of a relay, which I use to turn off a, a big contactor to run the car or run the charger. I uh, come through here. I have two LED lights uh, hooked up so I can tell if it's charging or discharging and I have a, a, a 
a uh, little resistor here on the side so that I get enough voltage to power this. Uh, then it goes into our board, our BMS board. Now, if our BMS board is happy with uh, both charge and discharge, it will let current flow either in or out of this depending on what it thinks you're doing. If you were hooking your bicycle up to it, then it would be out. If you were charging, then it would be in. That's why I have these two, uh, that's why I have this relay here, which will switch this power supply around. Now I'm not going through the positive of the BMS board because then I would need whatever the voltage of the batteries are. I'm just using the uh, the transistors there to turn off this, this coil. So this is a double pole, double throw relay, which basically just flops our power supply around. So it's either negative down here or positive down here, which uh, controls the way our, our current flows through this uh, coil. Because what will happen with this is, let's say you've driven and you've driven as far as you can and the BMS turns off the car, turns off the the uh, the current going in the discharge direction. It still has the current going in the charge direction turned on so you can charge your your batteries and vice versa. Your batteries get all the way charged up. This stops the current flowing in that direction but it does not stop it from flowing in the opposite direction to discharge. So uh, even though these boards have got all these transistors on them and can handle quite a bit of current, I think this is uh, 30 amps, 30, 50 amps. Uh, it still is not enough to run a car or a big charger. So that's why we use these to feed the relay. And maybe someday they'll come up with a companion board uh, that will do all this. Right now I'm just soldering all, all these up uh, like they are. If we had a nice little relay board in a package that could hook to here to here, that would sure be nice with two little lights and everything built in with the, with the power supply. In the meantime, I've done that myself with this circuit, which I'll let you look at again. Uh, now, on this right here, you can also use a double pole, double throw, or a uh, single pole, double throw. Uh, relay and have one side for the charge and one side for the uh, driving. Our problem of course with this is that if you are in charge mode for somehow and you were driving uh, which could only happen if this setup here wasn't working wasn't turned on uh, then the uh, BMS or the would be thinking that you're because of what it's seeing in the circuit that you're charging while you're driving and it might not shut off because it's still thinking you need to charge so that's a that's that is our one weak point in this that if somehow this does not get energized then the thing will remain in charge mode instead of uh, drive mode 